Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your message from Spirit Reading for the weekend from the 10th to the 12th of July 2020. So Friday to Sunday I'm doing, the rest of Friday to Sunday. And we have the Violet card here, Attract. Now is the time to attract. Let's get one more card. Any other message? Oh, wow. <laughs> I've got dream. Golden poppy. Dream. You see? Poignant message, isn't it, already? Attract dreams. You know, the law of attraction is what you put into something, what you set your sights on, knowing and believing 110% that you can achieve it. It's not always easy energy, it doesn't always happen overnight. But if you have the positive mindset, attitude, input, hard work, it is the universe rewards you in kind in terms of your energy. So there's a similar message that if you put out negative energy, you get that back. But this is somebody who is attracting their dream, I feel. Interesting. So I'm using the spirit message deck here. I just literally pulled the cards that I felt really attracted to for the weekend, as I always do. So this is a spirit message deck. What do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're just being guided to you from spirit, from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Wow, this is really poignant because we have attract dreams. It's almost kind of like the universe is working with you in tandem here to make it happen, whether you realize it or not. And we have soul power. Always remember you're a soul that comes with the body, not a body that comes with the soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your, com at your command whenever you need it. It's intuitive energy, isn't it? So, any coincidences over the weekend? My readings can last longer, generally a few days longer than when they're released. Things just happening, like clockwork, domino effects, falling into place. It is this synchronicity. Feels very divine timing. Okay, what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides, that people need to hear for the weekend? What is the message? 10th to the 12th of July 2020, Friday to Sunday. And as always, because this is for all signs, it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates for you. We have the Five of Cups. The Chariot. Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands. Four of Cups. Five of Swords. Oh my goodness, the world. Okay. So five of cups. It's a card of endings, it's Scorpio energy. Um, there's a message here of this person is cloaked in black. The negativity consumes them. They remain stuck in the past because they focus on what's gone rather than what, than what could be. And while they do that, they remain s suspended in this negative energy. And it's to do with our emotions and feelings, the cup's energy. There is a message here that you can't change the past. This can be about lost regrets, lost jobs, lost relationships. Um, regrets mourning something that's gone but there is a message here there are two cups full of uplifting energy that this person isn't seeing because they're so consumed with what's gone 
And there's a need now, even though it is a challenge, I feel, for some of you, whatever this loss was, there's a need to put your energy, your heart, your soul, into really overcoming what this challenge was. And I do feel for some of you, you are getting on top of the situation. It has taken a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, but you are getting on top of this now. I love this energy because the Four of Cups, the universe is giving you a sign, a message, a nudge to say, this is the direction you need to go. This is how you need to move forward now. This is somebody who could be stuck in this Four of, this four of Cups. It's interesting because we have the Three of Cups here and then the, the cup that's being offered by the universe. And I feel for some of you, there's such potential now is it's time to really connect to your thought, your intuition, your knowledge, uh, your inner knowledge, your inner wisdom, in order to see the way forward in your external environment. Because the universe is telling you there is an opportunity, something better ahead here, but you need to take action towards it. And it might well be some of you have some illumination, an idea, um, a feeling, a gut feeling almost kind of like an inner knowing of how you need to move forward now and it's coming from divine energy you know this is absolutely you know you need to put your energy in order to attract a new dream and the cherry is whatever this thought this idea this instinct this intuition is leading you towards you need to take the reins and charge straight towards it and it might well be that you need to overcome your own internal barriers, internal limitations, internal restrictions of breaking free of what has gone on in the past because the chariot only focuses on what's ahead. He puts the past in the past and charges towards what could be. Possibly this new thought, idea, illumination, instinct that you're feeling that you need to move towards now that is releasing you and breaking you free from being stuck in whatever this was in the past. It's the beautiful card of victory because the chariot is victory over our internal space. We overcome our own internal limitations in order to move forward um, towards victory and success. There's such promise with the chariot. And all the while, you see, he has the, night, the canopy of the night sky reminding you that on this journey, you are being protected and guarded by the universe. The universe is really protecting you on where you need to move forward to now. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy of really find your quiet space, regroup, and I feel the way forward is presented to you. Yeah. Because for some of you, so we had the Five of Cups, which is to do with your emotions and feelings. So this is bringing and consuming your emotions and feelings. Whatever this was, this Five of Cups, this disruptive energy is disrupting your internal emotions and feelings. And now we have the Swords energy, which is to do with your mind, your mental energy, your perception, your communication, how you are viewing things here. And the Five of Swords is somebody who is disrupted in their thought patterns. So for some of you, there is a message you need to overcome your internal energy here in order to move forward to where the universe is trying to, to bring you forward now. And in order to do that, I feel for some of you, you need to see past whatever this conflict, this negative thinking has been, whatever this loss was, whatever this, I mean, this can be about bad feeling, resentment, arguments, conflict in your external environment as well, affecting your internal space, could be to do with whatever this Five of Cups is. Um, I feel for some of you, now is the time to release the burdens and see past, yeah, see past whatever this conflict was. You need to look further than this because this is a very immediate, in-your-face, consuming energy. And this is Aquarian energy. You need to look past this now in order to see the new goal, the vision, the dream. And put, uh, I certainly feel for some of you, this Ten of Wands is a card of 
this journey has been a burden, this journey has been difficult, this journey has weighed you down, but I feel for some of you the Ten of Wands is an ending. Interesting, two fives make ten as well. I feel that there is some kind of ending here that this energy, it's almost kind of like you need to draw a line under it now in order to move forward. Have eyes on the prize towards a new goal, a new dream, where the universe wants to take you now. Because for some of you, there's a message here with the world card of, of you've learnt the lessons that you needed to learn, but don't be held hostage to them. Now is the time to step through to a new door, a new dream, a new vision. Take action down a new path, the next phase of your life. Charge your head towards where the universe is wanting to take you now, what feels right, what intuitively feels right for you. Because for some of you, this is a card of victory, and it's a victory over what is gone. It's a victory over the past journey. It's allowing a wonderful ending, drawing a line under a situation. You've come through the other side of a very difficult situation, and now is your time to feel that accomplishment. Understand that it has taken a lot to move past this, but you have. You're successful. You've accomplished it. You have overcome this challenge and now is the time to step forward towards a new dream a new vision it's beautiful the answers come from within with the hermit energy you know this is just so beautiful but it is absolutely time to embrace the new now and i certainly feel for some of you that is the energy i'm feeling the empress is the birth of something new she is the birth of something wonderful i mean the venus energy in this is something wonderful she is venus in taurus the promise of what she offers you need to anchor with that taurian energy the earth energy you need to make it real you have the promise now of if you pour your energy into something positive constructive she is the birth of something new can be to do with your money aspects career can also be to do with your relationship aspects as well, certainly to do with love. But she holds such promise, and she is very much to do with the law of attraction. She is a three in tarot, she is a three major arcana as well. And this is, if you put your energy into making something positive happen, she, she is the beginnings of it happening, it manifesting, it taking form. So the big message is don't hold yourself back. Don't let the past hold you back from stepping through to this new phase of your life because there is such promise here. Now's the time, you know, I mean, this is beautiful energy. Now's the time to take the world in your hands and make life choices, decisions towards taking the first steps, having a plan, a strategy towards a new vision. This is somebody who is not afraid of the unknown. This is somebody who understands that they want to go over there. They see a new vision of the, what they want their world to be. And they're taking action boldly and in an empowered way to make it happen. To understand the steps that they need to take towards make a new reality. Co-create a new reality for themselves. That could be in terms of money career. can be in terms of love here. The Empress can rule both. Um... But she is just absolutely to do with the law of attraction. And, you know, she is asking you now, very clearly, it's time to attract your dream. And the universe is absolutely behind you, nudging you forward. It's so beautiful, the reading. Okay, let's pull a final message for you for the weekend. What do we have as a final message, please, for all signs for the weekend? And as always, this may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. But you know, the hermit energy, you can see that lantern is the star. It's internal illumination towards a new vision. You know, it's beautiful energy.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have Spider, Dreamweaver. Tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? But I also feel this is very much to do with your dreams. They're starting the process of just making it happen. And really, where would we be without dreams? We'd be lost. Five of Cups. Okay. One more energy, please. One more message, please, for the weekend. Yeah. I like this. We have Fox Shadow Work. There are no shadows without light. Yeah. And I feel it is. The Hermit illuminates within the dark, you know? And I do feel with this dark cloak, there has been a dark energy around maybe some of you have experienced here but you know you see such light such abundance with the empress how things just suddenly change when you take the reins of your internal energy and bring positive change in your external environment it's beautiful so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful weekend for you all and i will see you next time thank you